everyone whoever's joining us today live let's get this going happy wednesday hey um yay happy wednesday out there if you're joining us live or the day of uh i'm midnight and i am here in chicago uh where we're gonna do another pop-up class today so today, as promised, I said I was going to do this yesterday. I'm uh, going to do a little cardio burst action, some Pilates action, still get the strengthening in, some low impact stuff, but we're throwing in some high intensity stuff as well. If that's not your bag, if that's not what you want to do today, don't worry about it. Uh, stick to the lower impact options. We'll kind of build up to each of the higher cardio bursts. Um, yeah, or just, you know, hang out, do something else during that time. It's, it's really just up to you of what you want to do for your bodies. But wanted to throw in some cardio bursts because uh, if you're like me, you don't like doing cardio that much. Uh, it's hard to get cardio in. So I, for uh, multiple reasons, like doing these little burst interval training. Uh, one, it really conditions your heart very well. It's a great effective use of, of our time to do these little bursts and power through. Uh, but also, in my mind, I can like focus in on doing 30 seconds of cardio at a time opposed to like 30 minutes. So, so yeah, so hopefully this gives you a little bit, a um, little bit of fun, a little bit of variety, and we can work our hearts without, uh, without mentally having to psych ourselves up too much for it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, modify whenever you need to, take breaks whenever you need to. I usually always have my handy dandy little uh, hand towel that's rolled up. That's gonna help me with a lot of my roll ups and different things that we do. So I use this as a little assistant. Uh, if you have a weight, if you have a yoga block or it's like a pillow, a bolster to sit on, that helps a lot of people out too. If you have tight hamstrings and or uh, your spine has difficulty seeing upright in posture, that's a great thing to have as well. All right, <laughs> like I am kind of having to psych myself up for this today though, uh, because we're gonna start off getting our heart rates up. We're gonna like ease into it, but we're gonna start off trying to get that heart rate lifted. Here's a great thing though. When we get the heart rate up at the beginning of our session, naturally our heart rate will be up usually for the rest of the session more than usual. So we're gonna be more efficient, we're gonna feel it, we're gonna sweat more, um, just by getting our heart rate going at the beginning. So start by just lifting the knees up, grab onto the leg and lift it up. Nothing too crazy yet. Try and really lift that knee and squeeze it up. So you lift it and lift it that extra bit by pulling it up towards your chest. It's gonna warm up the hips. Take a rest, grab water whenever you need to. Draw the belly in and you can try and find that nice posture. It's like stick your chest through. As you lift the knee in, stick the chest through. <sighs> Opening up to the collarbone, combating all that forward hunching we do. Take into a little quad stretch. So you're gonna grab onto your foot, grab on and pull. Similar to what we were just doing, 
is having the leg go the other direction and give it that extra pull. Grab on, extra pull. You need to hold on to something. Give yourself a little extra balance. Totally fine. Keeping the chest upright. All right, hands go behind the head, going into some elbow crunches. Knee to elbow. Side bend. We're also warming up the spine, warming up the hips, maybe deepening that breath already. I can feel my heart rate already starting to increase a bit. Maybe it's just keep moving during this. You can just march it out. You can stick to one exercise. Just keep moving through so we hopefully get that heart rate going. Good. Arms go out, circle the hip around. Knee comes in and around, in and around. And getting into the hip, doesn't have to be high, it can be small, down low. It's just about circling into that hip joint. If you need to hold on to something for balance, you can. Circle other direction, go out and in. This one always feels more awkward to me. So if you need to hold on to something, you need to take a little more time on this, this direction. Go for it. Sweep up and in, up and in. All right, not too bad, not too bad so far. I say as I fall over. All right, so now let's start to get up a little bit more. Just take it to a nice little jog. If you want to march it out instead, you can march it out. Or just picking up those feet a little bit. Now that the body's a little bit warmer, have a ripple on my mat, keep going. Just gonna smooth this out. There we go. Breathe. Focus in on your breath, focus in on your body. Take your hands up and down. So hands go from the hip up to the ear. <sighs> Moving those arms a little bit more. <sighs> Maybe bring those knees out in front a little bit more. <sighs> Four, three, Two, one, good, stagger the feet, one foot behind, other foot slightly in front. Bend down like you're doing a squat, maybe touch, gently tap the ground, stand yourself back up again. Just that, so the back heel is lifted. I try to keep my chest up here. You'll have, uh, you'll be tempted to crouch over like this. Keep the chest up as high as you can, stick that chest through, bend it down and bring it up. Maybe that means you don't go down as far. You only go down this far. That's great. We'd rather have the posture than the depth. One more. Feeling those legs, switch over to the other side. Step the other foot forward, other foot back behind. Doing some mobility work today. I mean, all of Pilates is mobility work, but specifically doing some bigger ranges of motion, mobility, into our legs, into our hips, into our ankles, into our feet. All right. First little cardio burst, jumping up, switching over to the other side. Sink down, jump up, switch, sink down. Try and soften the landing. So I soften and sink. It's all one fluid motion. Helps to use your arms too. And down. Ooh, I can feel it in my legs already. A few more. One more each side. Last one. Yeah, bring it up. Oh yeah, legs already. Do some body weight squats. Be about hip width distance apart. Maybe slight turn out in those feet. Lower down, squeeze the butt as you come up. Hear my heart rate. Already got that little boost. A little gas of air, that's good. Squeeze it at the top. Make sure the knees are going over the toes. And as you sink down, Keep that flat back. So your tailbone is reaching back. We're not rounding, we're really lengthening the tailbone back. Try to keep the chest up. Catching our breath here as well. Last one, hold it all the way up. Stay right here, just lift and lower the heels. We're going up on the big toe mound. Pressing, squeeze the cheeks. Press the legs straight like you were a rocket taking off 
or it's your Iron Man, right? Have your hands and you're lifting up straight towards the sky. Squat, heel lift. Squat it down, bring it up, heel lift. Smooth motion, heels down, then you squat. Make sure the heels come down first, you roll down to the heels, then you bend your knees. You don't bend your knees before the heels come down. Choice, stay here. We're gonna take it to a full squat jump and a couple more reps. Full squat jump. Whew. Here we go. Squat jump looks like this. Same thing, you land on your toes, roll through your heel, then bend to it down. <sighs> Work those legs. I know, this is the last thing we're gonna do for this warm up cardio burst. We've got this. Six, five, three, two, one. Yes, stand it all the way up. Nice work, give yourself a quick little shake out. Woo, step up nice and wide. Take it down into a nice wide squat for your hands in front. Give yourself a gentle sway side to side. It's pushing your elbows into those knees, opening up the hips. And your tailbone is reaching back and trying to lift your chest up. We'll be using this position a little bit later in the session. So let's feel it out right now. Turn sideways so you can see. I'm really pressing my tailbone back and my chest through. Also catching my breath. All right, gang. Nice work. Sit down onto your tailbone, see if you can do it without hands. Oh, may not be graceful, that's okay. Maybe you have to put the hands down too. That's all right as well. Abs, let's get into that core. Ooh, lay all the way down. Pull the belly button in. One, lengthen the tailbone away from you. Two, lower back pushes into the mat. Three, ribs tuck down and in. Keep that one, two, three connection. Start with our marching. March those knees up and down. All right, again, give yourself a moment to catch your breath and feel the length of your spine on the floor. This posture position we're in, even though don't think of this posture because we're laying down, it is, right? Our spine is lying flat onto the floor, or at least it's trying to, opening up the collarbone, pulling the shoulder blades down the back. This is the same position we try to emulate when we're standing upright or sitting upright in Pilates. So feel what this feels like right here when gravity is on your side. Good. Hold one knee up, curl head, neck, and shoulders up. Shh. Opposite hand reaches for that heel, then reaches back. It reaches for the heel, reach back. If you want extra uh, assistance of the head, put the other hand behind the head. Shh. That little cross over the midline. Two more like this. Last one. Switch it over to the other side. Knee comes up, trying to reach towards the inside of the heel, then chop it back overhead. Now don't let the knee come in too tight. So if I bring it in here, I don't have to reach it as far. Maybe that hand doesn't get all the way to the heel. That's okay, as long as I'm trying. A few more. Switch over to the other side. Now go to the outside. Try to reach the outside of that heel. Reach overhead, outside. You want to make this a little spicier. Then lift both knees up. Keep that engagement. One, two, three, connection of the core. Three more. Squeeze knees together, two. Last one. Switch over to the other side. Slice it across. Bring it back. <laughs> now watch out for that top hand on this side. Negotiate the space however you need to. Making sure lower back is still lengthened on the mat. Belly is still pulling in. Little beads of sweat already. And that cardio burst at the beginning. Last one. Nice work for Lisa all the way down. Legs go up towards the ceiling. Lower one leg down, zip it up. Other leg lowers and lifts. And just find that one, two, three connection of the core. Drawing the belly button in towards the spine. Reach the arms up towards the ceiling. And now take 
same arm, same leg. So a lot of times we do opposite arm, opposite leg. This time we're doing ipsilateral, so same side. And negotiate space however you need to. But still keeping the one, two, three connection of the core. If you want more, you can curl head, neck, and shoulders up. This isn't necessarily more, actually. It kind of depends, because sometimes I think head down is more difficult to keep my spine lengthened and my lower back pushing into the mat than with my head up. So you just gotta find what works in your body. One more each side. Good. Both arms, both legs stretch out. Hold hollow body position wherever it is right now where you can keep that big connection. Lengthen through the neck. Tuck it back in. Give yourself a moment. Give yourself a little rock and roll. Or I'm going to a little bit. So our hollow body position is that nice and lengthened position. Lower back pushing into the mat. Try to reach the biceps by the ears and keep the neck long. Belly button pulling in. Hold. Tuck back in. Breathe. Should be difficult. Should be hard to hold on to that hollow body. Maybe even to be the shape. Reach out again. Three more tries. If you need to, you can reach your arms down by your side as well. As long as that lower back is pressing into the mat. Tuck back in. Breathe. <sighs> Two more. Reach out long. Ooh, yeah. I feel those abs already. Burn it in. Tuck back in. Hold. Deep breath. Last one. Here we go. Reach out long. Four, three, two, one. Bring it all the way in. Yeah. Ground down those feet. Let's the lower the heels. Or hips up and down. Oh, squeeze the butt. Lifting up. Stretching out those hip flexors. Engaging through the back body. Oh, our abs. It's a little moment of respite before we get back into them. All right, if you need it, grab on to your towel, going into some roll-ups. Place that towel underneath your sacrum, so that's above your tailbone in that kind of big, flat, lower back area, so like small of your back. Lengthen the legs out, reach the arms overhead, pull the belly button in, curl yourself up, one vertebra at a time. Keep the roundness of your spine as you reach forward. Belly pulls in, I feel a stretch in my upper back and mid back here. So it's not necessarily a stretch in my legs, it's a stretch in my spine. Sit up tall, feel that good posture. Reach the arms overhead, feel that great posture. Then curl the tailbone and roll yourself back down again. Try to keep the biceps by the ears. Easier said than done. Ooh, I feel that. Reach the arms up, round the spine. Push your heels into the floor as much as you can. Find that curl, rounding up the spine, draw the belly deeper. Space in between your back bones, open up. Then sit up tall. Press your chest through, biceps by the ears. Tuck the tail under, curl down, keeping biceps by the ears. One more, reaching up. Ah, draw belly in, curl round. Yeah, draw it in. Press back deeper. Someone has a hold of your waist and they're pulling it back as you're reaching forward. Sit up tall, press it through. Keep it biceps by the ears as you curl down. Oh, slow, yeah. Screw yourself down your mat, give me a little extra space. Getting into our reverse crunches and our roll up. So with a few reverse crunches, if you need that towel, you can also put it underneath your tailbone. Sometimes it gives you a nice little reference point and a little uh, soft landing for your tailbone. Lifting up, setting down. Now really control the lower down. So uh, try to make that lower slower than the lift. You have to use a little bit of momentum if you kind of get yourself up there, then control that lower down. If you can, don't do it with any momentum at all. May mean it's super small, but that means it's all in the core. Full roll over if you've got it. Straight legs, reach overhead. Maybe give yourself a moment here. Wiggle your shoulders underneath. You can put your hands on your back. If you want a little moment here, just breathe. Try and get those hips over your shoulders. Find that inversion. Then roll down slow and control. Reach the legs long. Bring the legs over. 
push into the hands, stretch. Draw the belly in. So this position is the same position or similar to what we were like at the top of our roll-up. It's that rounding of the spine. Maybe feeling a stretch in our legs, but it's mostly uh, trying to feel a stretch in our spine. So I'm doing that tucking in. This is always more clients and students. Like, oh yeah, tuck in your shirt. <laughs> and, and me. So I have to that as well. Yeah, do one more. Reach up and over. Hold the belly in. And then just focus on trying to around the spine. So stretch the spine. Pull your belly back and press your toes back. Curl all the way down. Nice work. Legs go up towards the ceiling. Take the towel out. Leg circles out, down, assemble, and lift. Out, down, assemble, lift. Shh. Belly button still stays pulling in. Circle other way. Down, out, up, assemble. Like we're doing single leg circles, keep your hips square, keep your body square. Try not to move the upper torso, stabilizing through the core. All right, alternating them. So one, bring them down about 45 degree angle. One toe goes down, one toe goes up. Circle them around and switch. Circle around, switch. Circle around, switch one more, go the other way. Cross, circle around, and switch. Circle around. So it's a little bit more of my oblique side body having to work since our, my legs are not symmetrical, hiding that, that weight imbalance. One more. Good, tuck the knees in towards your chest, rock and roll yourself all the way up to the sitting. Woo! All right, rolling like a ball, because we're gonna be using this for a little cardio burst. So, let me give myself a little extra space. Here is what it's gonna look like. A few regular rolling like a balls, grabbing onto your ankles, rounding back, rounding up, trying to find that balance point. Yeah, just to get the spine warmed up. Then we're gonna stagger the feet, one foot in front, one foot back behind, roll back, try and come up, and try and come up and over the feet. So if you need to push yourself over or see if you can do it with no hands, curling back, using the momentum to come up and over. Easier said than done. So yeah, a few rolling like a balls, go for it if you haven't already. Actually, I think I'm gonna angle this this way so you can see a little bit better. Draw that belly button in, rounding through the spine. Feel that massage, try and work out any of those sticky spots. A couple more. Hold it at the top. All right, alternate one foot in front of the other foot. Give yourself a roll back. Come up, try and come up and over those feet. Bring yourself back, again, stagger the feet, keep it that same side. You need to push your hands and come up and over. A couple more tries, like I'm fighting on my hair. <laughs> keep breathing, keep going. That challenge of finding the right Pilates for your right? Switch over to the other side. So other foot in front. Now how far front and back they are, up to you. The closer, I think the easier. So you don't want to be too far staggered. You just want to be a little bit staggered. Let's try this way, if you can see better. Okay, curl back. Up, try and lift up and over. Back, curl back. Up, if you need to use your hands to lift up and over. Curl back, up. Reach forward, up and over. Couple more. Reach. Last one. All right, friends. We're gonna take this, if we can, up into a jump. You need to use your hands, use your hands. We're trying to get that staggered position of our feet, rolling back, coming up, using our momentum, jumping up, switching, coming down, rolling back, stay on the side, up, lift, down, switch. Lift, up, switch. Have that soft landing. So maybe more graceful than others. Wherever you are, you have a few more tries. Lift the hips up, press up and over. If you need to go slower, go slower. Use your hands. 
and just try and get that little cardio burst. Last one. We'll all meet down on our back. Woo, just curl it down. Oh, grab onto the inside of your feet. Happy baby pose. Give yourself a gentle sway. Side to side. Oh. Taking over your heart rate is. Hopefully you got that little cardio burst. Good. Bring the knees over to one side. Spinal twist. Hold there. We have readjust my mat again. Just try to find the right angles. It's challenging today. Bring the knees over to the other side. Spinal twist. Whew. All right, gang. Well done, though. That's hard. That's really hard. It requires not just strength, but a lot of hip flexibility and mobility. So if you didn't get it today, that's okay, right? We're just, we're working towards, working towards these things. But working that squat, especially that little uh, asymmetrical split spot, it's really good because that's a very functional movement. We can use that movement. We crouch, we bend down to pick things up. It's really good for us to work that uh, range of motion so that we use it in our everyday life. It enables us to do a lot more things. Whew, all right, roll onto your stomach. Let's get into some back body, shall we? Come down a few lowers and lifts of the head. Just to warm up the spine, draw the belly in. Head laying on your stacked hands. Shoulders away from the ears. Pull the belly button up and in. Last one. Reach the arms back behind you. Palms face up towards the ceiling. Pull the shoulder blades down the back. Lift up to the heart and reach down like you're trying to grab into your bottom cargo pocket. Center over to the other way. Anyone remembers cargo pants? Oh, the people still wear those, right? I love my cargo pants. I would still wear cargo pants. And all the different pocket options. Reach it down. But for those who don't know, you could maybe have a, a pocket down on the side of your shin. So you're reaching down into oh, that pocket. Side bending as we have our extension through the spine and working the oblique. Last two. Last ones. We're gonna rest it all the way down. Give yourself a moment of breath. Feet go up into the air, flex the feet, bring the heels in, and try and keep the knees squeezed together. So you're gonna wanna bow out here. Keep them squeezing towards the midline. Good, kicking in, 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 stretch out, reach, point through the toes, squeeze the butt. Again, kick in, 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 point, lift. Kick in, 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 point, lift. In, 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 point, lift. One more, hard, harder, hardest. Lift it up, good. Reach back behind you again. Palms face up towards the ceiling. It'll lift like you're high-fiving the ceiling back behind you. If this feels like too much, lower the legs down. Just focus on the upper body. Or as you have those legs hovered the whole time, drawing shoulder blades down into your back jean pockets. All about the pockets today in our back body. Squeezing shoulder blades together like you're squishing a grape in between your shoulder blades. Crease down your spine, deepens. Good. Rest your head down over to the other side or just let the forehead go straight down. Get the legs up, one more set. Flex the feet, kick it in three, two, one, lengthen out. In, three, two, one, and reach. Three, two, one, three more. Hard, harder, keep those knees squeezed together. Last two, last one. Reach it out long, good. Set it back into a child's pose. Knees go wide, big toes really touching. Hips sink down towards the heels. Breathe into that back body. Ah. <sighs> All right, let's do a little bit of warming up into the shoulders, continuing to work that back body a bit as well. Into your quadruped position, hands and knees. Press through your shoulders. Do a few of these serratus push-ups. These are always just good to warm up the shoulders, shoulder joints, get those muscles 
you're really pushing the floor away from you, if you're pushing a car up a hill, you're pushing someone away from you. So it's an active press and press. And tuck the toes under, lift up into a down dog. Do that same thing where you kind of sink and then push away. Maybe smaller here. If you do a little sink, then push away. Sink, press. Maybe a soften of the elbow, but it's more about pushing through the shoulders, not through the elbows. Two more. Last one. Hold here. Keep pressing through the shoulders. Try and draw your ears past your biceps. Press your heart back towards your shins. Shift yourself into a plank position. Step one foot forward. So a nice big lunge position. Yeah, spiral up for mobility twist. Bring it back down. Step it back. Step it up. Good twist other way. Step it back and switch. You can absolutely do this with the knees down. You can do this in quadruped position as well. Just stepping one foot up, twisting, bring that knee back. And so again, you decide wherever you need to go. Press, lift, press, lift. One more each side. Really try and get that foot up as high as you can. Bring it up to the outside of your pinky. Good. Hold here. Lower yourself all the way down. Elbow skim by your side. Down onto your belly. Extend the arms and legs and swim it out. And point the toes straight in the arms. Whatever you need to do to navigate your space around you. The length of the crown of the head. You can pull the belly button in. But nice reach through the spine. Someone's pulling your hips and feet one way and pulling the crown of your head and your shoulders the other way. Four. Three, two, one. Good push it back, child's pose again. All right, we got another little cardio burst. This time, oh, serious, because we are timing it. Mm -hmm. 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. You get those 15 seconds to rest. We have three exercises. We're going to go through all of them uh, three times. Yeah, so three rounds, three exercises, total of nine different bursts of 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. All right, Whew, we got this. First one is gonna be push-ups. If you do not wanna do push-ups, go back into these serratus push-ups instead. Yeah, but you can absolutely, I'm gonna stick to my knees, so go into push-ups, dropping down, pressing up. You can keep that nice plank position, draw the belly button in. If you burn out before the 30 seconds, then just hold the plank, maybe go into serratus push-ups, or just hold that plank. All right, that's our first exercise. 30 seconds of that. Give yourself a moment, breathe, check it out. Here we go, in four, three, two, one. Let's go, push-ups, down and up. 30 seconds, when you extend the arms, press the biceps in. You're squeezing your arms around your chest. Push that chest in and together. Almost like, there's a giant ball, beach ball, right in front of your chest, and you're hugging your arms in on that, on that beach ball. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. 15 seconds rest, right? Not too bad. But mountain climbers. Up onto your hands. If your hands need a break, go down onto your forearms, running the knees in or just stepping them in. In four, three, two, one. 30 seconds, let's go. Draw those knees in. So working that plank position here, pushing your shoulders away, press into the pads of your fingers, gain that nice core workout, breathing, 10 more seconds, four, three, two, one, yes, take that break, turn around, give your shoulders a little bit of a break. Hinging yourself back, going into Russian twists. All right. Got five, four, three, bring your back, two, one, twist it out, twist, twist. Option to keep the heels down or to lift those feet up. Let's try and keep the balance. 
twisting all the way over. Get your hands to touch the mat. Breathe, rotate. Fight through that balance. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Yeah, take that break. We're already one round done. We just got two more. Going back into those push ups. Yeah, if you want to make them harder, easier, do any adjustments you need to. You can go up to your toes, go down to your knees, just hold plank. Three, two, one. Let's go. Press. Press. Let's try. I'll try up on my toes. Why not? Pressing through the shoulders. Drawing the belly in. The wider your feet are, the more accessible it tends to be, at least for me as well. Once you burn out, go back down to your knees. Or just hold that plank. Or take a child's pose. Five seconds. Three, two, one. 15 seconds break. Oh, okay. Now I can feel that heart rate boosting up. Into those mountain climbers. Drawing the knees in as tight as you can. If you want to boost it up, you can take it to an in out where both knees come in and you hop out. Three, two, one, let's go. So mountain climbers here, or jump both knees in and out. So trying to hit that nice plank position when you pop yourself out. Don't let the hips come up too high. As we get tired, we tend to do that. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Take that rest, 15 seconds. Woo, into our Russian twist. Okay, now we're serious. Let's get into it. Five, four, three, two, one. Twist it out. If you wanna do any other ab exercise, go for it here or with any of the other ones too. Just try and do something where you can move a little bit faster. So we are also trying to work that cardiovascular system. 10 seconds. So moving with a little extra power and speed, but still control. Three, two, one, yeah. Last round, all right, last round. Last 30 seconds of each. Back into those push-ups. Last 30 seconds of push-ups. Burn yourself out. Go wherever you need to go to burn out. In three, two, one. Here we go. Breathe. Press. Dig into it. Halfway there. Keep drawing the belly in. Five, three, two, one. 15 seconds rest. Woo. Mountain climbers for those in out knees. Last time, got 30 seconds of it. Go as high as you can. In three, two, one. Let's go. Wherever you are, you're tucking those knees in as tight as you can. Keep the tailbone down. Don't let that tailbone go up too high. Or try. It's all about trying. 15 seconds, halfway there. Last five. Three, two, one. Yes. Oh, last time. Russian twist. Turn it around. Let's go. In five, four, three, two. Last time, twist it out. You twist a little bit deeper. Squeeze the knees together. Balance, breathe. Halfway there. Yeah, five, four, three, two, one. Yes, roll it over the legs. Ah, give yourself a little stretch. Clasp the hands behind your back. 
and reach up towards the ceiling, taking over your heart rate is. Hopefully you got that little burst. Uh, hopefully it didn't feel like crazy to, I mean, it felt a little bit crazy. Hopefully it wasn't uh, killing you. But hopefully it also made your breath deepen, made you sweat, got your body warm, felt that soreness, fatigue, and be sorry to set in as well. Ah, well done. Into our uh, tabletop, you're risking a little break. Try doing it down your forearms or just lay all the way down and go to a hip bridge. With fingertips facing towards you, plant the heels down, lift it up, squeeze, lower it down. So down your forearms, it looks like this. It is more shoulder mobility, so I have less space to move. So I feel a bigger stretch in my shoulders. But you could try it out. Maybe you only lift the hips up like this much. It's all right, it's okay. Or you can come just down here and just go into a regular hip bridge. Yeah, you choose. Choosing where you need to go for your body. Really pressing, squeezing into the glutes, lifting those hips up high. Few more. Last two. Last one. You can hold the hips up wherever they are. Do little squeezes. Press, press, press. Dig into that booty. Lengthen the hip flexors. Good, hold it at the top. Yeah, bring the hips down. Everyone bring yourself up to this position if you haven't already. Shift yourself forward. Keep your palms uh, down on the mat, but just spiral the hands and now the fingertips face back behind you. So just gonna scoot yourself forward as much as you can and maybe bend your elbows and stretch into your chest. There's a little sway side to side. And this will depend on everyone's different flexibility and mobility. The further back I am, the less stretch I personally feel. Uh, but I don't want to go too far, right? So I have to kind of find where I start to feel that stretch, then push my chest through, we bend my elbows, do a little sway side to side. Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay, friends. A little more abs, one more cardio burst, and then we call it good. All right? All right. Bring it down onto your elbows. Hip circles. Legs go up towards the ceiling. Keep the legs together. Circle down around. Pause at the top. Circle down around. Pause at the top. So we just opened up our shoulders. So hopefully you can do this position and press through the chest. If that feels like too much, come up onto your hands. It gives you a little extra space. Or lay all the way down your back and do them right here. And lots of different options. You just have to find what your body is telling you it needs right here in this moment. Around, pause at the top, circle around, and pause, circle, and pause. One more. Hold it up at the top, then lower down, little flutter kick. If you need to, bend the knees, do a little tabletop runs. Otherwise, reaching through the toes. That same one, two, three engagement of the core. Even though we're not laying down on the mat, my belly's still pulled in. My tailbone is still tucked and lengthened. My ribs are still tucked in. Four, three, two, one. Good, bring it all the way up, lower all the way down. This is gonna depend on your hamstring flexibility. So again, if you need to, tuck those knees in. Still working the abs right here. Or if your legs are tired like mine, uh, this may be where you wanna go right now. Lifting up, lower down, squeezing your thighs together. You can also do single legs. Three more. Last two. Last one. Good. Tuck the knees and towards the chest. Bring it over onto your side. So I'm on the meaty section of my glute. One elbow down, knees come in, lengthen out. Gain into the oblique, side body right here. Tucking the knees in, stretch. Tuck in, stretch. I can also do this with just my top leg. Still working the core, still working the abs. Option to add, top arm. Squeezes in, reaches out. Squeeze in, reach. Keep breathing, keep pressing. 
Four more. Three. Two. One. Good. Bring it over to the other side. Give yourself a little shake out if you need to. Over at that knee, section of the glute. Knees come in, reach out. In, reach. So you should see this gap on my side body, squeezing in and lengthening like an accordion. Hips and ribs tighten in together and lengthen back out. Option, I just do that top leg. Still working, the oblique the same way. Option to add top arch. We have four, three, two, one. Nice work. Good. Flip it on to hands and knees again. Quadruped. Just work through a few cat cows. I'm going to go to fists. Just work my wrists in a little bit different uh, position. Okay. One last cardio burst. We've got this. <sighs> Lifting ourselves up. Different, uh, three different exercises again. <sighs> 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off, three rounds through. Okay. First one is frog jump. So that position that we did earlier in the session right here, this is where we're going. Hands come down. You can either step or if you are able to jump it back because we want to get the heart rate up, jump it back into your plank, bring it in and try and bring your hands up off of the floor. Hands come down, jump it back and jump it up. Pressing the chest through. Frog jumps, all right? 30 seconds on, 15 seconds rest, and we'll go over the second exercise. Here we go. In four, oh, three, two, one. Let's go. Jumping back and up. You can also step this back and step it up. Absolutely. Just switch which leg is your leading foot. Press into the shoulders. 10 seconds left. Four, three, two, one. Good, give it a rest. All right, from here, going into get ups, pulse called Hobbit House. Bring the knees down, bring the legs up. Bring the knees down, bring the legs up. We'll go one way for 15 seconds, switch go the other foot, 15 seconds. Here we go. And up and down. So my partner, Bucky, calls this Hobbit House. And it's like you're in a small Hobbit House. You don't want to hit your head on the low ceiling. So keep going low. Keep that tailbone down. Switch other way. Other foot leads. Ah, yeah, legs. Let's go. Try and keep that chest lifted as much as you can. Four, three, two, one. Nice work. Last one. Going up, Whew. full lift up overhead. You can lift up on your toes or do a full jump and sink it back down. Just doing like those squat jumps again. In three, two, one, let's go. Lift it up, sink it down. Absolutely, you can go to tippy toes instead, which I may do this round. When my legs are tired, we do a few jumps. We do a few heel lifts. We got whew, 10 seconds left, wherever you are. Four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness. Okay, check it out. Whew. It's a lot. It's those hip flexors. Okay, back into our frog jumps. You'll stretch out those hip flexors at the end of this, I promise. Three, two, one. Jumping it in or stepping it in. Bring it back. Now your body is already tired. We've already bursted her, that cardio, that heart rate up a few times already. So it shouldn't take as much to get that heart rate up again. I feel a burn in my quads. Take a break, slow it down if you need to. As long as it still feels challenging to you. Last one. Good, rest it down. Ah, oh, 15 seconds. Use it. Hobbit house get ups. <sighs> like working out my hairstyle. Means it's good. In four, three, two, 15 seconds. 
leading one foot and we'll switch it over to the other foot. This is a lot of hip flexor right here. I know. We'll stretch it out, but it's really good. All the sitting that we do, hip flexors do get tight and short. They also get weak. Switch over the other way. So we need to strengthen that muscle. Ah, even though it burns. Last three, two, one. Woo! Nice work. Jump up and down. This is the last time we have to do these squat jumps. I'm gonna change it for the last round. So last time you gotta do these squat jumps, all right? 30 seconds, let's go. Halfway there. Let's go team. Come on, Wednesday. Eight seconds. Four, three, two, one. Woo! Okay, last round. Last round we got. Oh, into those frog jumps. Oh, 30 seconds, last time. Three, two, one. Let's go. Jumping in, jumping out. You're doing great, gang. I know. This is the last final push. Listen to your bodies. Breathe into them. Encourage them. Don't shame them right now if they're tired. Give them that cheerleader. Or if they're saying, I need a break, honor it. Be like, yeah, you can work it hard, body. You need a break. Three, two, one. <laughs> last time we were at Hobbit House. Ooh. All right. <sighs> In five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Burn your legs. We will stretch them out. It's gonna feel so good after this. I how the house is getting a little bit taller as we do this. How about yours? Switch over the other way. Last one, last one right here. Three, two, one. Nice work. Good. Ending it with back extension. Again, we're going into a little swan dive or rocking. Grab on to the back of your feet, lift it up, rock it forward and back, or just go into swan dive forward and back. Here we go. Last three seconds. Want to end with a back extension. And that all of that front loaded work we were doing. Keep pulling the belly button in. Reach back up behind you. Reach back towards your feet. Halfway there. Press your chest open. Lift up to the heart. Last four. Three, two, one. Yes, the back child's pose. Oh, knees wide. Big toes really touching. Ah, oh, breathe. Whew. Well, that certainly got my heart rate up and got my legs to burn so much. Well done. You made it. We made it. Wherever you were today, however that felt, let it go. Oh, just be proud of everything you accomplished. Start to stretch it out. Bring one foot in front. Keep up that nice big hip flexor. I'll switch this. Big hip flexor stretch. So stretching this part of my hip down to the ground. You can lean forward, lean back. Actually shift yourself side to side or forward and back, whatever feels good. You can tuck the back toe under, lift up that knee. Wherever it feels like it gets into that hip flexor best for you. Good. You can bring it back. This is way. Put your hand onto this knee. Just push the knee out and then bring it in. And working into the hip point. I'm looking into some of that mobility. Oh, enjoying the sweat dri dripping down. Can't even talk, sweat dripping. Good. Cross that foot over, take into a pigeon pose. Lengthen the back leg back behind you. This front leg is tucked in. Square the hips to the front. Lean yourself over, stretching into that hip joint. Ah. 
and find your quad stretch, bend the back leg. If you can grab on, if you can't, you have that towel or a strap or anything, you can also hook it around the towel. And it takes a little coordination to do that though. So, uh, you know, if it's like not happening today, it's all right. Just try and draw the heel in or keep the back leg straight. Release it, tuck the toe, lift yourself up, switch over to the other side. Ooh, set that hip down, hip flexor stretch. That feels so good for me right now after all of that jumping. These are great stretches to do just in general. Again, our, our hip flexors get really short. We do so much sitting and hip flexion that's drawing the knee up. And we need to stretch those muscles out. We need to strengthen them, but also need to stretch them out. You know, it seems kind of counterintuitive, right? I hit the, if they're, if they're weak, they should be loose, but that's not the case. <sighs> nice work, gang. All right, go to, oh no, first bring that knee out to the side, then bring it in, out to the side, and in. Ah, awesome, awesome job. That was kind of a longer class today. I didn't even mean for it to be. With the cardio, I, I was actually expecting it to be a little bit shorter, but a little bit longer. We got like a full hour movement in. Okay, now bring it over, cross into your pigeon pose, stretch that leg back behind. So well done. Well done. Reach yourself up and over, stretch out that hip. Option to bend the back leg, grab on, pull that heel in. So also great too, if you could fast forward through this video and just do the cardio bursts, um, or you could just do the non-cardio bursts, but just those little bursts, you know, just that like, those few minutes where we get the heart rate up, it does a lot. It's really great to train our bodies, our lungs, our heart that way. So sprinkling that in, doing that at the beginning of a workout, at the end of a workout, just in the middle of your day, make sure you're properly warmed up, uh, will, will really make a big difference. Once I discovered interval training, it's like, okay, all right, cardio, I, I see you, I got you. <laughs> really sit down, good. Bring into your downward dog, walk out those heels. Shift your weight forward into your plank, then drop the hips down into your up dog. Just feel that stretch through the front of the body again. Oh, lift yourself all the way up. Walk your hands back towards your feet, feet back towards your hands. Hang on to your forward fold. Maybe sway side to side. Hands go behind your head. Give yourself a gentle little pull on the back of the neck. Bend the knees, tuck the tailbone, curl yourself up. Bring it all the way up into your boss pose. Open up the I'm elbows, lift up the heart, press the elbows back behind. <sighs> Take it all in, giving yourself a moment of gratitude, of thanks. Stack the head back on the spine. So notice if you feel longer, lighter, warmer at the very least. Feel all together, toes apart. Ooh, release all the way down. Lifting over the heels. Just a few here, just feel that length. And float the body up. How light can you feel here? Hold the heels all the way up. Let the arms overhead, shoulders stay down. Four, three, two, one. Good. Bring it down and together. Rub your hands together. Put gratitude, thanks, good juju, and intentions into your palms. Give a little shake out, fluffing our aura. Cross up top, in the middle, down low. Lift the energy up. And let it pour down. All right. Cardio burst. Pilates with cardio burst. Done. Nailed it. Did it. <laughs> A full sweaty Wednesday. Um, and tonight we're going to do more. So tonight uh, I'm going to be teaching just a good old fashioned dance class at 8 p.m. Central Time. So if you want to move your body more, check us out tonight. Uh, we'll be in the other bigger room for that. And yeah, and then I'll be back tomorrow. I, I have a feeling. I'm not making any promises. But I have a feeling maybe. Something about the way you move makes me want to feel your groove. Something about the way you dress.